All right, time to make Christmas. So it is um, December 20, what is it? The 23rd and uh, it is around nine o'clock in 9.30 in the morning. Time to get working on my Christmas gifts. So my glasses have dried. Um, I'm going to have to sand this to kind of like smooth out the edges, but I think this is gonna look so cute. She's gonna look adorable. And then here is the other figure. All of the clay has dried. All I need to do is just sand it out a little bit. Today is going to be mainly painting this one and making it look amazing. My camera stopped recording while I was working, but this is the progress I've made so far. I think I'm gonna add some eyebrows to the boy one because you kinda can't, I don't know, I think it needs eyebrows. Um, and then after the hair is dried, then I'm gonna start painting the clothes. The little girl one is all finished, and I think she looks so cute. She got her little glasses on. Oh, she looks so cute. I was thinking about painting a little like graphic on her tee, but I couldn't think of anything. I might try and do like a corgi or something on there, but it might, I don't know if I'll have time for that. So I just have to spray this one with a sealer and then that will keep all of the paint on there and it won't scratch off. So I'm gonna do that. Plugging along on these, but I think they're coming along really, really cute. And they're gonna look so good when they're all finished. It's gonna be so cute. Adding the eyebrows was a must. It looks so cute because Chess has such a prominent brow that it needed eyebrows. Like now, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, I love it. And I didn't even intend to do them uneven like that, but I feel like it still works because it looks like he's doing like a mm, kind of expression. Like, oh, this is going to look so good. And that was the end of me vlogging. So I did not pick up the camera at all after getting to that this point in the uh making of Chaz's gift so um yeah <laughs> so i thought for the rest of this vlog i will kind of show you the end result of Chaz's gift and I will tell you all of the gifts that I made for my other family members since we're definitely well past Christmas. It's like January 2nd when I'm filming this right now. I realize it's just too hard to vlog with my, the boys around. Like it's just, we spend so much time together as a family and we do so much stuff together in general. It's just too hard to vlog when the whole family is around. I just wasn't, that wasn't part of my routine. It was easier to vlog when no one was here. Um, so since everybody's back to their respective corners and everyone's back to the old grind, I thought let's finally wrap up this whole Vlogmas experience, right? I think that's a good call. So let me wrap up how I finished Chaz's gift. So I finished up the figures for Chaz. I did see some comments in the comment section regarding like the paints that I was using. I was just using regular craft acrylic paint that you can find at like Michaels and Walmart, like the paint that comes in the tubes that are like 50 cents. Um, th that paint works just fine. So I just used regular craft paint and um, I think they turned out pretty good. So this is the one that's supposed to be like Chaz and um, I think it turned out really really nicely. The only thing I still have left to do is I need to paint the belt buckle. I was going to use some gold nail polish or some silver nail polish and just kind of paint over the, bu the belt buckle to really make it stand out. It turned out really really good and you can't really see, well I mean you can still see, I mean it's not perfect, but it's not as noticeable that I added like clay on his legs to make his shorts into pants and I think the beard kind of 
really blended in nicely. So I painted them with the craft paint and then I used this Rust-Oleum matte uh, finish spray to kind of seal everything up. These ones were a little bit trickier to seal because they don't stand up. I customized some Funko Pops for my sisters for Christmas and those are much easier to seal because they stand up on their own. These don't. Um, so I was I had to like lay them on the ground and like try to figure out a way to, to seal them and it was a little bit tricky but I think it turned out just fine. Now there is a sad tale <laughs> with the little girl figurine that's supposed to look like me. Um, Chaz opened it Christmas morning he was very excited, he thought they were so cute, and then he accidentally sat on me and broke the glasses. <laughs> So this is the one that I made to look like me, and I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, it looked really, really good when it was all finished, when all said and done, but um, obviously this clay is not very strong, and when he sat on it, he busted the glasses. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pop these off, and I'm going to remake the glasses, but this time use um, polymer clay the clay that you bake in the oven, um, and then it's really, really hard. So I'm going to remake the, her glasses at some point. I don't really, I don't really have time to do it now, but I will pop this off. I'm pretty sure it's just, oh, see, I can pull it off right now. Um, so, so I think this clay was not the best for like freestanding items. It was definitely good for like his beard and the pants, like they're not gonna come off. But unfortunately, because these pieces kind of stuck out, it didn't work so well. So there's the little Chaz and Juanita figures that I made um, for Chaz for Christmas this year. And I think they turned out really cute, even though this one's kind of broken, but they're still super cute. So now let's talk about what I made for my sisters. So this whole like customizing vinyl figures all started with Funko Pops. It, there was an Instagram account that I found where this girl would take Funko Pop figurines and she customized them to look like characters from the musical Hamilton. And I died. Like they were so incredibly cute. She had each cast member as its own little separate Funko Pop and I saw it and I'm like I need to do that. I want to do that. I can totally do that. I need to do that. So I have made several of the Funko Pop Hamilton figure character things as gifts for lots of people. Um, I gave, I, I made a Hamilton one and a Lafayette one and gave that to my sister. I made an Eliza one, an Aaron Burr, and a King George and I gave that to my friend Marin. And so for Christmas, I gave my other sister a Hamilton Funko Pop. It actually took two Funko Pops to make the one Hamilton. So they're kind of expensive to make, but in my opinion, they're totally worth it because they look so cute. So what I did is I took two separate Funko Pops. The first one was Black Jack Randall from uh, the Outlander series. And then the other one was uh, Sulu from Star Trek. I needed the body of Black Jack Randall and I needed the head from Sulu. So what I did is you put the Funko Pops in a boiling pot of water to soften up the plastic and to soften up the glue that connects the Funko Pops head to the body. After you've let the plastic it kind of warm up a little bit and you've let that glue kind of start to like uh, dissolve you can rip the heads right off and you don't damage the plastic or the vinyl or any of the pieces to the Funko Pop you just rip off the head it's super super easy so I pulled off the heads of the Jack Ra Black Jack Randall and Sulu and then I just switched them. So now I have the, the pieces that I need to make Hamilton and now basically it just comes down to painting. So normally the next step in this phase would be like adding any sculpted pieces that need to be put on there like clothing or accessories or hair or something like that. But luckily I didn't have to do any molding or sculpting with the Hamilton figure, so all I had to do was paint it. So once again, I was just using those regular craft paints that you can find at Michaels and Walmart, and using a reference photo, I painted the body of Black Jack Randall to look like Hamilton during the war. So he's got like his blue coat and everything, and it looks really, really good. All I had to do to add to the head was to add a goatee to Sulu, just to make him look more like Hamilton, and I also had to mold some clay to be a ponytail in the back, but that really wasn't that hard, and then, once everything was dried you just put super glue back where the original glue was that held the head to the body and then you just put it back together and there you have it now you have a custom 
Hamilton Funko Pop. And now that it's all done, um, the paint, the craft paint isn't really great. Like it does scratch off of the vinyl. So that's why I use the sealer to seal the paint in and it doesn't scratch. I don't particularly like this sealer. It's not matte enough for me. It honestly, to me, has more of like a demi-gloss kind of finish. It's a little bit glossy. It's not as matte as like an original Funko Pop, but it's pretty close to being as matte as you can get. I want to say I've tried other brands of sealers and some of them are more matte than others. This one from Rust-Oleum is really not that matte, but it works for all intents and purposes. My other sister already had a Hamilton Funko Pop and she had a Lafayette Funko Pop I made for her birthday last year. So I decided for her to make a Beyonce Funko Pop and this one turned out so good, you guys. I am so proud of how well this one turned out. I wanted to make a Beyonce from the Lemonade album. I had so many choices and I didn't know which one I wanted to do. It was a toss up between the, um, the Hold Up Beyonce and the, uh, what is that? The, the sorry Beyonce, the one with the hat where she's giving the finger. And basically it came down to what Funko Pops were out there that was going to make me do the least amount of work. <laughs> so obviously we had two problems. We had a big flowy dress and a baseball bat like this Beyonce, but then we had like a huge hat that covers up most of her face and a very long dress on this Beyonce. So it's like, I don't know which one I can do. So I took to the internet and I took to lots of online stores to try to find the best Funko Pops and it turned out that the easiest Beyonce for me to create would be the Hold Up Beyonce. So I found a Harley Quinn Funko Pop and a Moana Funko Pop. Taking them apart I was able to create a base for my Lemonade Beyonce. So I really liked the baseball bat that Harley Quinn had because obviously that was one less thing I would have to sculpt and luckily she was wearing like not very many clothes so it was easy to sculpt a dress on top of her. So I was very very nervous about this piece because there was going to be a lot, a lot of sculpting. I had never sculpted an entire outfit before on a Funko Pop. It had always been just like little pieces here and there like a cuff or a collar or a belt or something like that. It had never been like a full on outfit. So I was very, very nervous about how this was going to turn out, but it actually turned out really, really well. And using that same air dry clay from before, I molded a dress for Beyonce. And I don't think it turned out super great. Like I said, it was my first time actually sculpting clothing, but I figure it's pretty good pretty good results for a first try. Um, and uh, it was, it was nerve wracking, but I did it and I think it looked really, really good. I mean, it's a little bit rough and it's not super smooth, but that's the beauty of homemade gifts. It took a while for that one to dry, but once it dried, I was able to paint it up using some mustard paint that I had to go to Michael's very, very late one evening to go get. I went to Michael's at like 1030 at night and I had to get like these mustard yellows to paint Beyonce's dress. And then I had to do the head of Beyonce. So I used a Moana head because she had really long black hair, which was perfect. And I tried to do like the ombre, kind of bleached fading that she has in her hair, which is really, really hard because it's like a caramely kind of gold that fades into like a chocolate brown. I don't think I did a very good job, but you can tell who it is. Like that's all that matters is that you can tell who it's supposed to be. And I had to repaint the skin because obviously the Moana head is not going to match the Harley Quinn body. So I had to repaint the skin color for both of them to match Beyonce's skin color. So I had to lighten it a little bit for Moana, but I had to darken it for Harley Quinn. So it worked out in the end. Um, and then I just had to reattach the head to the body. So once again, I put super glue on the neck piece and I just smacked it on there. And now I've got a Beyonce Funko Pop. So those were the two that I was so excited about and I was working on the most during Vlogmas, but I couldn't show it to you guys because Obviously it would spoil the surprise. Um, and then the last gift that I made for my family this year was for my sister and her wife. They are huge game players. They love to play video games and comic books and anything geek and nerdy, like they just adore it. So 
um, for them I decided to make them two art pieces to hang up in their house um, they since they love video games so much I was fully inspired by this one picture I found on Pinterest like years ago I can't even I can't I couldn't find it I tried to search it and I could not find it anywhere but I remember in my mind there was like a bed and above the bed they had two little plaques and one said player one and one said player two and they were done in like the pixelated font with like the back black background and I want to say they might have said press start at the bottom but I can't remember um, and so when I was thinking of ideas of things to make for my sister and her wife that was the first thing I thought of and I thought yes like they would love that so I went and bought some big canvases from Michaels which I did not know but they have canvases that are already black which was perfect I was worried I was gonna have to like paint a canvas black so I actually was ready to buy like this big tube of black acrylic paint but then when I went down the canvas aisle they had black canvases already like it was amazing I was so excited so I found the right size of canvas and it was a two pack which was just kismet I just couldn't believe it how awesome it was that I needed two canvases and they were black and in a two pack and they were the perfect shape it was fantastic. So then the next step was to find the font. There is a website that I love to use that has um, free fonts available and there some of them are free some of them you have to pay for um, some of them you can only use for personal use others you can use for commercial use it's an awesome website. So I was able to search for a pixelated looking font found exactly what I needed I typed out player one I typed out player two in the size that I needed and then I just had to transfer the letters to the canvas. So one side you have the printed image and on the back is just a plain white piece of paper. So then I just covered the back side of that paper completely in pencil and then um, placed the paper down on top of my canvas and then I traced out the letters of what I wanted. And then when you lifted up the paper there was going to be a pencil transfer onto the canvas. Really really easily like this gift literally took me maybe an hour to do both of these. It was so incredibly fast because I paint, uh, the canvas was already black. All I had to do was print out the word, transfer the, transfer the words, and then paint the words, wait for the words to dry, and then once it was dry, I sealed it with Mod Podge. Uh, I think it was Mod Podge Matte. They're the matte Mod Podge and um, done. It was done. I got it done in less than two hours. It was amazing. I'm so excited and they really really liked it too. Um, they said they're probably going to hang it up in their respective workspaces. They really loved it. I was so pumped about it. I thought they turned out so cute and I almost kind of want to do the same thing for Chaz and I but put them downstairs in our like den TV area because I think it'd be so cute. But anyway but yeah that's it. Those were all the gifts that I worked on for Christmas. I love making Christmas gifts so much. It is like my favorite thing ever because the person's getting something that's truly unique and something that's like all their own like I don't know I just love making gifts and plus I'm just really really crafty in general and I just love opportunities to make things and making gifts for Christmas or birthdays is probably my all-time favorite thing it's just it's so much fun so now that the cat's out of the bag I think I'm done guys <laughs> like I'm so done I did some filming today I finally got around to starting my reviews of nail polish reviews and stuff for uh, the new year and I think I'm just I need to take a break I need to take a break from the vlogging this is definitely going to be the last vlog for vlogmas which I feel bad about because I really do, I really have enjoyed Vlogmas this year. I've been very proud and pleased with myself that I was able to do it, even though half of them were late, at least I did it. Um, and I will probably do this again at some point, like maybe I'll just decide to vlog all the month of May or something. Um, but for right now, I definitely, definitely need a break. But thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, guys. I think I might do like a daily vlog every Friday. Like I'll just vlog whatever it is I'm doing that day and try to not make it too involved, but who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I have so many lofty ideas and my follow through is never good. The beginning of the month was really, really rough and I appreciate so much all the support and love and compassion that you guys shared with me um, during that difficult like first couple of days of December. It was really, really sweet and really, really kind of all of you to be so giving and caring, but 
We are doing so much better. We had a fantastic holiday. Things are looking up. I'm excited about 2018. I'm excited about new beginnings and starting over and changing habits. So I definitely am going to try to vlog every Friday just to keep in with you guys and keep in touch and keep the vlogging thing going because I do really enjoy it and I have loved doing it so much this whole month. It's just a little bit too much to do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> just too much. But all in all, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for spending the holiday season with me and I will see you all in the next vlog. I don't know when that'll be, but I'll see you in the next vlog.